If you are planning to move to Lethbridge, you might want to think again. You see, on my channel, I have a ton of videos about Lethbridge. I have pros and cons, things you need to know, and on and on and on. But there are five reasons that you shouldn't move to Lethbridge. So let's go. Reason number one is winter. Now, depending on where you're coming from, Lethbridge could actually have a much milder winter than what you're used to. For example, if you're moving from Ontario or Newfoundland or even Quebec or Manitoba or even Saskatchewan, actually just any other province other than BC, you will likely find that our winters here are much more mild and in fact, our average winter temperature here in Lethbridge is only minus 10. However, keep in mind that we still do get extreme colds from time to time, like minus 20, even as low as minus 40, but it usually doesn't last long due to our Chinook winds, which are in fact what keep us warm during those winter months but we'll talk about wind in a bit. But what I do wanna point out about our winter is that if you're looking for one of those frosty cold winters to enjoy ice fishing, snowmobiling, or skiing, it is 100% possible to do all of those things here in Lethbridge. However, the season for these activities is gonna be a little limited. For example, there are some years where the ice doesn't get thick enough to skate or ice fish on all year long. However, you can always drive about an hour to an hour and a half towards the mountains for all of those winter activities your heart desires. Now, reason number two is lakes and boating. Now, growing up in Lethbridge for my entire life, I thought I was pretty lucky that my grandparents owned the iconic Lethbridge Marine, which is a boat mechanic shop here in town, which meant we always had access to a boat in the summer and we would always go out multiple times to go camping and boating. And I always thought that we had good access to lakes and boating, but from what I've heard about families moving here from places like Kelowna is that we don't have a lot of swimmable lakes, which I didn't even think about, which is true. And there isn't a lot of outdoor swimmable lakes in Lethbridge other than the Old Man River, which from time to time you can go floating or fishing down. However, most of these lakes to swim at or boat at are at least 20 minutes outside of Lethbridge. Reason number three is if you hate wind. I mean, come on, no one actually really likes the wind, but Lethbridge is known as the Windy City. And I would say at least two to three times a year, if not maybe up to five, we do get up to 90 kilometer winds, sometimes even a hundred, which is crazy. But do keep in mind that no, it's not windy here all the time. The fall and the spring are definitely the windy seasons and is when the majority of the wind comes in and out. So if you hate the wind for this reason, then maybe Lethbridge just isn't for you, but it's not all that bad. You see, like I mentioned earlier, we do have what's called Chinook winds that come in from the West, which in the winter is what warm us up periodically throughout those winter months, which means we never get long extended stretches of extremely cold weather. It could literally be minus 20 one day, and within the next two days, we could see a 30 degree shift and it could warm us up to plus 10, literally in the middle of December. Combine that with the fact that we have 333 days of sunshine per year, I think I can put up with a couple windy days. Reason number four that you might not want to move to Lethbridge is if you highly rely on public transit. Now Lethbridge is very spread out and it's not very dense. We have more park space per capita than anywhere else in Alberta. However, this does mean that the city is sprawling. We do have a public transit system here that many people use, but I would say that Lethbridge is a very drive first city. Now, downtown Lethbridge has gone through a lot of work to make the area more walkable and bikeable. And they've even introduced a rideshare scooter system that you can just use an app and jump on a scooter but there is still a giant bridge between the West and the South. So with no train, I would say that if you live in Lethbridge, it's gonna be much more enjoyable for you if you have a car. Now, yes, you can get here and there with a bike or an e-bike, but the biggest downside, like I just mentioned, is that big hill between the West and the South. And seeing that almost half of the city lives on the West, a car is pretty much gonna be essential. Again, I'm not saying that it's impossible not to have a car, but it will make your experience here in Lethbridge more enjoyable just in my opinion. Reason number five is if you like big cities. Now I have said this in other videos, but I've always said that Lethbridge has that small city and big town type of feeling. We do have everything you need and we do have some great amenities. However, we just aren't a major city. And I think that the locals here know that and like it that way. But if you're seeking that big city life with tons of hustle and bustle and having all the malls and the absolute best concerts or professional sports teams just at your fingertips, then Lethbridge might not be the place for you. The pros of Lethbridge is that we are a small town. It is a little bit more laid back and quiet, 
And if you like the big city life, moving to Lethbridge would be like fitting a square peg in a round hole. So there are my top five reasons why you may not want to move to Lethbridge. And of course, every city does have its own pros and cons. So if you think I missed something, please leave a comment down below. Or if you have any reason why someone would want to move to this beautiful city, let me hear those comments down below as well, because I'd love to hear them. And finally, if you want to learn more about Lethbridge and this beautiful city, there's a whole playlist right here. And if you like this video and never want to miss another one and learn more about Lethbridge, just hit that subscribe button right on this side. And we'll see you guys in the next video.